everybody, I'm Gary L. On my own. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Why am I keep doing this? This might be somebody's first time watching our videos. It ain't like we get, you know, all the views in the world. Today we are going to braid my honest hair. I've done braids before. First of all, I did these braids. They're a little bit rough, you know, and then time to come out. I've done her braids before and in previous videos. If I had braids, I did it myself. That's just a goal. I've never done it like that with the um, ends open or with the wavy hair in, included in it. But it looks like I ain't got on no pants. I promise I have no pants. <laughs> so this is gonna be somewhat of an experience, experiment. I also don't claim to be a professional braider. So it's gonna be a real it experiment. Look good. Or all them chicken with vegetable juice, put them back up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hair that we're using. It's called Expression. <laughs> can you see this? Calicola. 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 Excuse her. She didn't get braids when she was growing up. Nope. Expressions in the color too. For the wavy hair that's going to be hanging out, I don't know if it's called top quality, green hair, <laughs> pony salon, pony <laughs> uh, I think this brand is dream hair. It's called dream hair. This color is too. Our store did not have any of the shine and jam, so uh, we just had to get this stuff. Um, I really don't know how to make y'all see what we need to <laughs> see. It ain't go it, just know it's not gonna work. That's water in the jar. It's a, uh, it's not thick at all. I guess straight water. Like and when you rub it in your hands like us, like it turns into. Our other option is to use this got to be glued. I'm telling her. If we put this in your hair, you got dreads. Like I use that for my edges, though. For your edges, not when you. Are you gonna put it all the way down my hair? I want to put it on the the part where your hair stop. I need to use gel so that your hair is not frizzy sticking out the braid because you don't want to cut your hair off. Like clean the braid. I think we should do it this time. For me Just clean the braid. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. So we had to change locations because I couldn't get, couldn't grip it how I wanted to. And I didn't record the first couple rows because you know that you always start off kind of rough. Let's see if she hold her head right and participates, cooperates, and will like this. Are you going to tell me how to hold my head? Yeah, just like that. My neck hurt. <laughs> All right, so I'm using the Gossipy Be Glue. So if you ever use Gossipy Be Glue, you know it, it dries very stiff. But when you first apply it, it's not stiff at all. So it's kind of challenging. It doesn't hold as strongly as, as the gel that I wanted to use, but it gets the job done. I start with just a regular braid for a couple rounds. And then I grab. I put it in between my pointer and my middle finger. I think the pointer is called your index finger, but you know. And then I pick it up from under my middle finger. So I put the one half of the folded hair between my pointer and middle finger and then put the other half under my middle finger and then pick it up from under my middle finger. I add four pieces of hair per braid. I try to start um, with small pieces so that it's a gradual increase in size and not just like her hair and then boom, a chunk of fake hair. And then from there I just braid after I've added four pieces. There are some braiders that can like braid and hide your hair. Like if you had blonde hair but you wanted black braids, there are some braiders that can braid in a way that like your hair hides in the braid, and I don't know how to do that. So, I started, um, 
being a uh, magician. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was about to put me on. <laughs> when, it get, when I get to the end of her hair like this, sometimes I, I struggle to make it like not poke out of the braid. But I don't want to, when they quote unquote clean the hair, they either cut or burn it. And I don't want to do that either of those to her hair. I thought you can cut so, it. She said I can cut it, but I don't want to. Okay. Although she does need a trim. <laughs> But yeah, I just try to braid super tight when I get to the end of her hair. The part that is new to me is adding the curly hair at the end. So I'm going to braid it down to the point where the curly hair hangs out the perfect amount. I'm going to take some of the curly hair and I'm going to measure it from here and see how much of it will be hanging beyond the straight hair. And I think that's a good amount. And add it the same way I add the... Um, Right I'm going to braid until there's no more straight hair left out. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to separate a little piece. Bring it around the braid, cross over the top of the braid, and pull it through. And I'm going to do that twice. This is the part that I was struggling, the concept that I was struggling to grasp, but I think I've got it now. So um, the struggle to get here, like I could not figure out how to do this. So here's like one of the first ones on the first row. And another one, this was when I was only knotting it one time. And I realized I had to knot it twice. I got it one time on this one and then decided to burn it to keep it in place, which worked out, but it doesn't look as neat. I'm eventually, I'm getting there, you know, each braid getting better. By the time I get to the top, I think this was a good one. By the time I get to the top, it will look good. So I have been alternating with adding hair on the end and some of them I've added them in the middle. I pretty much like go the first one added on the end, the next one added on the middle, and then the one after that, don't add any, and just alternate it like that. This hair, it doesn't, it's not curly all the way to the top. So I make sure when I'm adding it, I add enough uh, room to braid some down so that it makes sure it pops out where I want to and it's curly. Like I want it to come out at, at this part of the braid, but I'm not gonna add it there because then half of it will be straight hanging out. So I realized that instead of grabbing the curly hair in the middle, you can grab it where the curl starts and put it wherever you want to in the braid. And since it's uneven, there'll still be some curly hair to hang out at the end of the braid like you can see in this clip. Okay, this is about where I want the hair to come out of the braid. So I'm gonna find the curly piece. Put that behind her on the chair so it stays out of my way. And just continue to braid.
Okay, so this is day two. When it comes to parting, this top part is where I always struggle. Your head is obviously round, so you can't just keep going all the way around because it won't work out. So some of these have to be not so square, and I can never figure out how to get the parting right for the ones that are not gonna be square. From what I see online, it looks like people just kind of cut across for the back part and then make just this row, like the ends of this row will be kind of triangle and the rest of it will be square. But it never works out as easy as it looks. And each time I braid, I do it differently and it never turns out how I want it, so. Okay, so this is the finished product. <laughs> it's so long, which I like. Um, I think overall they came out good. You can have a seat, ma'am. Um, <laughs> the sizing, I don't know why it's so hard for me to part straight, but I can never get all of them to be the same size. But you know, when you cover it up, you, you can't even tell the difference. I do think I did better with parting at the top though. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to go back and redo some of the ones, the big early ones that were, you know, a little bit messy at the bottom. I'm going to redo those and make them a little bit better. But yeah, that's it. How many hours did that take? Too fucking long. Lots of hours. But they're done now. <laughs>